I, I, I decided to read up on what the various manifestos of these political parties have to say about the lives of singles, because we are mostly at the receiving end of the code, whether, you know, and, and sisters, <laughs> uh, they will not tell you the truth, but plenty of them are nasty. <laughs> you know, be we, we are all nasty. In fact, <laughs> they didn't ask past me. Now, the struggle is real, but I was heavily disappointed. None of the manifestos I read has anything for singles. They don't care about us, and our votes too, they don't care. I hope they don't care about the votes of singles. So I was like, look, if I promise to give all singles some stimulus packages, I'm not sure of more stimulus package for singles. I can't win something, you understand? And my tagline will be something like, Papa no for all, you know, or no. Papa no for the papa less. Or maybe papa no pa pa pa. You understand? And, and you know, brothers, a lot of them were taking advantage of the COVID 19 restriction to marry quick, 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 quick. But without consulting us, fellow Ghanaians just lifted a thing before brothers could even say or do jack. So again, um, guys, if I promise to pay, like, clear half of the list of the bride price with taxpayers' money, will you vote for me? At least being Ghanaian must count for something, you know, me boy. Yeah, but my dreams have been um, truncated because I woke up in, in the news. They said the electoral omission said that uh, you can't be broke and be president. <laughs> you just can't. So right now, my best bet is to sell these fine ideas to John Mahama because, you know, <laughs> he will promise it in a uh, people's supplementary manifesto. And before you know it, leadership of service would have serviced all of us. Everyone who be service challenge. If you love it, shout hallelujah. No, receive it. <laughs> this is Back Page on City TV. My name is Caleb. Good and welcome to the show. Guys, we will get into the politics and all of those very, very soon. But Shelly, seriously, there is this issue. It's serious. It's, 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 it's some way. Hey, nine-year-olds, 12-year-olds, just say they are getting pregnant, or should I say they are being impregnated? Hey, what are you? 17. Eh, I'm not sure. I'm I'm a young girl. I'm a I'm a young girl. I'm a young girl. I'm a young I'm not going for. No, you know, I'm not like a big of a big of a big a big of a big a big of 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 a big a a a so I mean, I'm not sure if you can blame the lockdown. That, that thing. I'm not sure if it played a key role. But <coughs> there's this other lady who says, "Lockdown, lockdown." <laughs> that was when. Uh, <coughs> anyway, <laughs> so all these while, all these while, school has been not just a place to learn, but a haven where girls get protected from their praise. Beni a lockdown anymore. Or if you are a meter mask, we see Beni a cofado care, lockdown anymore, Beni Ballet war. Or a bit more boys and your mammy, I mean, boys say a ba, Yanu, or Beni Ballet war, or in Beni Clan Yay war. Square Square and Clan Yams, we see Beni a ballet, lockdown and a ballet war. Who fado a war in your. As for the mother of the teenage mothers, she, uh, she believes that government should just open the schools. Cry, and yes, sir, if it delays small pet. Koran, better or something to do. Obi, 
ni amena teenage pregnancy ebi enyo moko me ele foreign lockdown ba moko me lockdown ba na ne yo e fone ya amenyo fa me ye moni ba moni e for na 70 years moni yo 13 years 13 years eh mini ba ni 13 year old girl ya what what of a daughter is 13 how much of this does it? God. All my friends who are now parents say, apparently, uh, their parents tried because parenting is not easy at all, at all. But many think that parents of today, you know, many of you, you are not trying after all. I got car, I mean, one man, I mean, you know, this witch. The way in ZP, if you put a sabbat, you put one in with that. What in the way, guy? Hey! One of the uh, pregnant teenagers at a place called Jiejem in the central region, I hope I got that right, uh, she has been advising her peers, those of you who are teenagers and you are aspiring to get pregnant, you know, she's your flag bearer. Listen to what she's saying. Listen. Yeah, I know I know so where would they get the breast milk from to breastfeed the children? Akola ye kasa, u mami no kasa, u ti u ya aso, di 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 di, and. And, and she's right, because a lot of the guys won't take responsibility. You know, they won't uh, um, this thing in a lot of the cases. And they will just lock you down. But they, they will ease the restrictions on their lives and go and pursue education and things like that. So I, I, I totally agree with calls that um, pregnant teenagers, you know, should be assisted to get back to school. It's very important, very important. When a girl goes to school and is in form three and gets pregnant, okay, by the time she delivers and then gets to a point where she can return, there is a certain unique ID number given to you under the Free Senior High School. It makes your studentship valid for only three years. These issues were on earth through our research, for which we are engaging the Ministry of Education on to make flexible the admission systems under the Free Senior High School so that headmasters will be allowed to undertake admissions in communities or in schools where pregnant girls who want to return to school maybe next year will have access to that. True talk, man. True talk right there. And um, if there was a way to punish the boys, to teach them a lesson, uh, it would be good. Huh? Because there are some homes, and eh? you'll be there, and then someone will appear from the Gotha area. Your son has impregnated me. She won't finish, then another one will appear from the Trotro station. I am pregnant for your son. Meanwhile, area boy is still a student writing Ramizia. And you wonder what it is he, this guy is telling the girls. Because some people are working, they have money, still. <laughs> oh my, I, I, I have spent time on this particular story because I know that Mr. Mahama will soon deliver a promise, you know, to end teenage pregnancy or at least reduce it. And Akbafwa, though, suddenly focus on fixing that aspect of our society. So, Mr. Mahama, please let the promises flow. Yeah, <laughs> let the promises flow. After all, 
uh, your running mate is a woman, and um, your party loves women and their welfare. Nah, no, boy. Yeah. While we wait for that one, I came across this inspiring story of the oldest BEC candidate by name Elizabeth Yamua of Aguna Odobing. She is 60. Congratulations, madam. You inspire all the girls out there. It's never too late. And girl, you never, uh, you know, uh, no. You never know. You could be the next running mate. <laughs> it's never late. Or flag bearer. <laughs> you understand. So, Charlie, look sharp. Now, sometimes, sometimes, you get a sense this government is very confident of winning the 2020 elections. They look quite confident. Some other times you feel they are a bit jittery and apprehensive. Okay, so here is how confident the system looks. Confidence. Between Dr. Baumia and his boss, I'm not sure who is a better dancer, but um, I think when it comes to dancing, Dr. Baumia has demonstrated some incompetence right there. But uh, between the city and the dollar, it's quite obvious, isn't it? Honestly, we all believe Dr. Baumia when he said he has competently arrested the city and given the keys to the IGP. But the Electoral Commission's deputy chair, Dr. Bosman Asai, he has revealed that the city, you know, that's it, you know. <laughs> I sit here upon some potter. Let's be very frank. Every four years, we, we adjust prices as far as the nomination fees are adjusted. Every four years. So 2012, presidential was almost uh, 10,000. 2016, it came to 50,000. Then 2020, it's now 100,000. And those of you who know the value of money at in each particular year, it's important you look at the value of 50,000 in 2016, then compared to 50,000 in 2020. I don't know if this is the gospel truth or you all think Dr. Bosman Asai should stick to political science and maybe his new role at the EC. <laughs> I don't know. But um, <sighs> the EC's defense, very interesting. And uh, if you don't believe it, what is happening is that uh, uh, the EC was justifying the astronomical increase of the filing fees for presidential candidates from 50,000 in 2016 to 100,000 Ghana cities in 2020. You don't believe it. <laughs> you think I'm lying, sir? Katona, sir. The presidential candidates will be required to deposit an amount of 100,000 in the form of a banker's draft to the Commission. Parliamentary candidates will be required to deposit 10,000 Ghana CDs in a form of a banker's draft as well. COVID-19, 100,000. Anyway, so if you didn't believe it, there you have it. Um, um, from the horse's <laughs> own mouth. Essentially saying um, no cash. No seat. <laughs> this reminds me of the cash for seat in this thing. You understand? Actually, uh, this one, if you don't have cash, your face self will not be printed on the ballot paper. Not that we don't have time for poor people on our ballot paper. So, um, um, the, the small party, no, let me say broke people, <laughs> broke is the different from poor. The small parties and uh, independent candidates, right, uh, they are not happy at all. When we return from this break, we will hear them and also hear uh, the story of the happiest crop of Ghanaians because Nana Akbar has released about uh, how much? Is it 3.25 billion under pressure or in a panic move or in fulfillment of uh, earlier processes to sort out the many VTs of the financial cleaner? Chai! Let me a We will look inside.
The world is impossible without time. That planet. Time is endless motion. Make time work for you. Bet Planet. Time to bet. Welcome from that break, people. This is Backpage on City TV. My name is Caleb Kuda. I'm really in support of those who think uh, that EC's filing fees is outrageous. In fact, there are very few people who are in support of the new fees. The chief among them is the NPP. Yeah. Its Deputy General Secretary says, if you can't mobilize 100,000, okay, okay, just 100,000, get out basically that's how he puts it and it's amazing how people suddenly make so much money when they are in power and then the kind of things they spew to Ghanaians because they, they have access to our taxes <laughs> it's amazing right and on the flip side uh, uh when they are in opposition then they, <laughs> but uh, on the other flip side those who are not too happy the chief mourner the chief mourner all of them <laughs> hey, hey. This elimination by Rob Tatics, the chief mourner, Marek Kovigan. <laughs> what we have heard come from the EC is that uh, the city is depreciating, which, which actually paints a bad picture because if, if the city has depreciated 100%, that is terrible. You know, that's terrible. It means that some, you know, the present government probably didn't do their work <laughs> well. Um, I'm not trying to connect the two, but that's what it looks like. My brother, take heart. I know it's not easy, it's hard. <laughs> Mr. Gunn, <laughs> he was still nursing his wounds, nursing his wounds in his Facebook live stream. No, then someone dropped a comment. That got Mr. Wow, Mr. Gunn Wow. <laughs> we, the people of Ghana, cannot entrust the public purse in the hands of poor men. Oh, wow. Wow. This is, this is unbelievable. Uh, Mr. Roland Richter. You, what, let me just get this. You say if you cannot raise 100,000 cities to fill your nomination form with the EC, then you have no business uh, trying to become president. We, the people of Ghana, cannot entrust the public purse in the hands of a poor man. Poor men have a behavior once they are exposed to power and money. Wow. Wow. Wow, when you can say Abonu Kusa, the guy weak me. <laughs> or you say, Wow, <laughs> wow, in America. Now, not confess, guy. Mr. Gan, <laughs> you don't mind him, okay? Don't, 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 don't mind him. During your uh, interaction, you asked one of the first 16 people who joined the stream after like 15 minutes <laughs> to pass by that you need some new pictures uh, to be voluntary. It's good. <laughs> Please, when you get the pictures that tag me, you understand. At least, if our face won't appear on the ballot paper, cry. Facebook, there. We need our faces there, you understand. <laughs> Godspeed. Some of the other um, mourners are the CPP, uh, Ghana's most vibrant political party. Oh, yes. The CPP thing is on the high side. The CPP thinks that there was no consensus with that respect. There should be some democratic um, things here and some uh, transparency in the whole thing. This is an institution that overlooks the democratic process, and they are not democratic themselves. By opening up for us to know that this is the reason, that is the reason, that it's, it's not there. It's, uh, CBB, we wish you well. <laughs> I, I particularly, I particularly like how uh, you guys have called the bluff of the daughter of the 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 your your, your founder. Hey, 
he said that uh, she should get out of here. She's going independent. He said, oh, you can win the general elections without her. Charlie Mungu, Ogbo, Ogbo. Some people years do, exit will not affect people your party. Do different things at different times for their own for their own reasons and for their own understanding and, and they are the best place to explain that rather than me conjecturing from us. Some years exit will not affect the CPP? I don't believe Psychologically? so. Psychologically? Certainly not. Wow, I like the confidence. It said that a house divided against itself cannot stand. The script, I believe it. Now, uh, but this particular house you know, is very clear that it has been eroded away by the floods of time and irrelevance and it is still divided against itself this one <laughs> it cannot even squat to think of standing <laughs> but this guy though um his social uh hassan ayariga oh man he won my apc with a submission listen to him the apc have petitioned the electoral commission to consider covid 19 and the, the difficulties the Nians are going through in this pandemic to actually reduce the filing fee by 50 percent from the 50 thousand to 25 thousand and from the 10 thousand to 5 thousand because we are in difficult times boss keep on keeping on um um, um if they don't mind you <laughs> Cough on them <laughs> and fry out of the country. <laughs> cough, just cough on them. Now, also mourning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, also mourning is um, uh, an independent slang. We're going to fight on. We're going to fight on as a coalition. We're going uh, to we're going to put this major uh, roadblock uh, on the laps of the Ghanaian people and see what they say. Because how where we get our financing from is from the Ghanaian people. We move when the Ghanaian people wants us to move. He <laughs> said, I say, I don't know, I don't know, he ain't no, he really. No, the guy is too good. He is too good. He and Sami and Krumah actually can make a very good impression, believe me. Um, if, if they partner for this one, I'm, I'm telling you, we will give them a shot. Now, um, Rose, what's my favorite minister? Christian Mwakwata will say, Rose. Rose are in the best of shapes in the history of the Fourth Republic, you know, Dr. Bahamia Saleh and kind of thing, under the Kufuado government. <laughs> this is unprecedented. Rose in Ghana, unprecedented. If you doubt me, listen to the people of um, Santasi. Yeah. Be the citizen in a prey. Hemai, Ampetia, Dako, It's not good. Please, what I am saying is that we are begging and I for that. You can't go and tell Patasi Road. You can't go and tell Ahojo. You can't go and tell Denyame and leave the citizen here in a place here on road. <laughs> I don't know if Santas is California or something, but I really like I I, I like it. <laughs> you should be thanking the president for the state of your roots, honestly. Uh you are even lucky because uh, I'm telling you this on authority. Um some people don't even have the fitri fitri that you are talking about. If you like, see. This is what we call things fall apart. I mean, <laughs> it looks like this is how actually Ghana's development story has been. Like, <laughs> we have been at uh, one place, uh, and the uh, MPP and NDC, they have just, <laughs> they have all flee me apart, you understand? This, oh, caca, <laughs> Just see that thing again, it's too beautiful. <laughs> No, the thing is sad and funny at the same time. I'm sure the roads the car used previously 
or it's a savage vehicle. That's why we don't know savage vehicle is there. I mean, I don't know. It's sad, but I can't imagine Mr. Muhammad's mood, you know, as government uh, suddenly, uh, you know, uh, is pushing so much money to pay customers of uh, defunct microfinance firms and savings and loans uh, companies in full. He said, you pay everybody who is that started already. So if you get your own, remember, so we were with you in there this week. Mr. Mahama, um, now that they are doing, they are paying the people that you, it's your major campaign promise, you know, uh, 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 how is the feeling like? No, ma, you're true, no. And now, but yeah, they say, oh, already <laughs> And this is buying your mind. So what do you say? MPP, your manifesto, or my shall say at the year, Juba. Oh, or my say campaign, Amma. They have spread our campaign. Mama, don't mind them, okay? Don't mind. Come for a little. Come. Come for a little. <laughs> you know, do the single stimulus package I told you about, okay? And then um, promise to pay 50% of the bride price for the young people. All of them. There will be couples, they will vote for you. I'm telling you, if you like, try it and see. Fellow Ghanaians, if you see quality made in Ghana, me, I'm going. Quality made in Ghana, you have to buy. So that the economy, you know, I see also come. Like this, man, uh, this you watch. You know, the last time I was telling you that uh, my name is Customized Inside. So a lady messaged me on Facebook and said that, uh, she wants to get some of the, this thing for her husband uh, as they are about to celebrate their 10th anniversary. The only problem was that uh, her husband's name is too long. And I might be a buddy. Oh, what is your husband's name? He said, I'm necessary. And I said, hey, sister, where did you get from? I said, <laughs> well, very sad, I'm saying you there. No, don't shy, don't shy. Uh, I like the name. Actually, Anthony can shorten the Nunukpaku and make it Nukpeski. You understand? So, Nukpeski, try and get this one. You will get your name inside. All I'm saying that uh, when you find Ghana, buy Ghana. When you see Ghana, talk Ghana. Hello? Eat Ghana. Wear Ghana. Travel Ghana. And talk Ghana. You understand? Everything. Ghana. You understand? Thank you.